You got the power, man. It's all in you. It's step number two of the eight steps to success, man. We're talking about being on time today. Why is being on time important to begin with? First of all, being early is being on time. Not being on time. What do you mean? If you on time, if you get here, if I get here at exactly 830, right? If I get in front of this computer, in front of this green screen at exactly 830. And I'm, am I going to be speaking at 830? Are you going to get this message at 830? Maybe 834, 835. On time means early. On When you late, your whole day is late, right? If you fail that first hour of the day, that is the way your entire day, maybe your week will go, right? You got to be above the problem. You have to be ahead of the situation. You have to be in front of the obstacle, right? If I'm at the territory before the rest of the guys, right? If I've already pitched four or five people before anybody else got there, if I already sold something before you arrived, what's your day going to look like compared to mine? Your day might still be awesome. Your day might still be magnificently juicy. But my day is already better because I was on time, man. If you ask God, if you ask the universe, if you pray to someone right now and you say, yo, I want a million dollars, hook me up. And then you get put in a position to make a million dollars. But you just you just happen to not show up or or you just you just happen to be late as hell or or you get there and don't perform. All of those are versions of being on time. Being on time means the time you there. Being on time means being prepared to handle why ever you're there. And being on time also means that you're willing to do the work to get what it is that you ask for. That's what being on time really means. Now, let's say that all of that happened and you you happen to be there. You happen to be on time. Let's say you tell God, which is the quarterback, like, yo, I want this million dollars. And the million dollars is the football. But if you don't do the play correctly, how you going? How you going to catch it and score the touchdown? How? If you're not on time. How you going to get what you asking for? You got to wake up every day like you want that shit. You got to wake up every day like it's in midair and you could catch it at any moment. Because it is. Whatever you asked for, whatever you wrote down, whatever your affirmations were, whatever your your your, your wishes, your desires, your, whatever you pray about, it's in the air. You have to be on time to catch it, though. Stop, be, stop showing up late to life, man. Stop showing up late to life. The reason why you don't have what you asked for is because you miss your Alshon Jeffries. You missed the fuck. You missed the catch, man. You missed the catch. You weren't on time. It was there for you. You could have had it. I, I mean, it was it was supplied. You know, it, it was everything was ready except you. Everything was ready except you. Quit bullshitting with yourself and be on time, man. Be on time, man. Now, the only way to change that, that mess, the only way to change that missed catch the only way to reverse that play, you feel me? The only way to get a third down, <laughs> the only way to actually score this touchdown, the only way to win this game is for you to keep your eyes on that quarterback, man. It's for you to stay in your position. It's for you to play your role. The linebacker not going to the... 10 yard line to, to, to receive the ball. That's, that's not what he does. It's not his position. You feel me? The quarterback not holding the line. That's not, that's not what he do. It's not what he does. It's not his position, man. Be on time, play your role correctly. And that's the key to success. Thank you. Everything maintenance one-on-one. You already know, go follow them by the way. Get excited. That's the key to success, man. Be on time. Well, that's one of the eight steps, which is number two, man.